Hey guys, it's Don't Hurt Me, I'm Spooked, and welcome back to my Steven Universe review series. Today's episode 1 was Barnmates, and this episode we got to see a lot of Lapis and Peridot character development, which I love because, you know, if you don't know already, I am a big Lapidot shipper, and this ship is my entire life. Th this ship is what keeps me alive. But yeah, I should have the Hit the Diamond review up later, but today I'll be talking about Barnmates and getting this out while I still can, so... This episode starts off where we left off last episode with Peridot explaining how Lapis and her are pretty similar and how they should get along together. Lapis doesn't agree on this and decides she hates Peridot and does not want to be anywhere near her. Lapis leaves, so Stephen suggests that Peridot makes a card to Lapis to try make up for what she had done to her while she was still working for Homeworld. Lapis denies the apology, so Stephen and Peridot try to think of another thing and what they think of is making a pool for Lapis as a gift, because, you know, she likes water and she's lived in the water. Then we get a pretty comedic slash dramatic scene with Lapis explaining the pain and trauma she's been through as Malachite being trapped under the ocean for several months. So with that gift being denied again, they decide to give something of Peridot's to Lapis. Peridot wraps up her tape recorder and gives it to Lapis as a present, but Lapis denies the present and breaks it and tells Peridot to go away and never come back. Peridot walks away sadly until she comes running straight back after a giant ship in the sky comes flying towards her and they decide to go hide in the barn. They are then driven out of the barn by the spaceship and Lapis protects both Steven and Peridot by using her water abilities from the H2O pool to smash the ship into the ground. Lapis then asks if Peridot is okay and Peridot is filled with joy as she now is slightly more friends with Lapis. Garnet, Amethyst and Pearl show up after they see the spaceship in the sky and then a ruby soldier with a gem for an eye emerges out of the ship and the episode leaves off there. Now let me move on to things I really enjoyed about this episode. So the first thing I of course liked was the fact of Peridot and Lapis interaction, something we only got a glimpse of on the last episode, but now we get to see them both interact. I loved how Peridot tried everything she could to get Lapis' attention, and Lapis ignored her, and it was kind of a senpai situation, and I loved the quiet drawing of Lapis and Peridot that Steven drew. I also loved how comedic Peridot was in the episode, as she usually is. And I also loved how Peridot jumped to conclusion was and was always in panic due to Lapis ignoring her. Peridot is such a quirky character in this episode and I love that about her. I also loved how Lapis was in this episode even though she was a bit of an asshole turning down Peridot even though she had no real judgement of her other than when she was working for Yellow Diamond. And I also love that cliffhanger on the end. We get to see more gems later on in this next episode and I can't wait to review Hit the Diamond. I can't really think of any negatives to give for this episode as I love everything in this episode. The only one thing I can criticise is the length of the episode. It felt a bit rushed due to all the events taking place and Peridot trying everything she could to get to Lapis. But other than that, this was an amazing episode. I can't wait to see more Lapis and Peridot development. They are, they are such cute together. and and. I'm big ship, big big shipper, big shipping nerd. But yeah, overall I have to give this episode a 9.75 out of 10. This episode was amazing, I love the character development between Lapis and Peridot as I've said before. I love everything about those two characters and I'm glad they are finally making up from their past troubles. This honestly has to be one of my favourite episodes because of everything that happened in this episode. It was funny, it was cute, it had moments of intent and suspense and I loved everything about this episode and of course I can't wait to see Hit the Diamond. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys for my next review. Presented by Baba Boy Pizzeria Productions